All right, guys, so this is uh, the installation of the electric starter kit on my 2009 RMK 700. So, of course, we have the motor, the electric uh, starting motor. Here is the case for the battery. And here is the wiring harness. And this is the ground. This is my Bendix that will be attached to the electric starter motor and uh, this shaft plus the Bendix and all we are missing right now is the clutch with the gear ring on it but we're gonna start with this first so how about we start this project right now all right guys so this case right here goes on the left side on the clutch side so it has to be fed like so in here so I guess what we have to do is we'll have to put holes through the sled in this middle piece right here and then we'll be able to put a few bolts to hold the battery down so let me just try to work this out and I'll grab the camera as soon as it's done so to tell you if I did the right thing but I know it goes right beside the secondary clutch and uh, yeah let me try to put this in right here and I'll show you the steps I did to put the battery case okay guys I actually figured it out you see these two things right here and my little uh, holes for my casing right here that will actually go this way the perfect fit but these things right here can be knocked off so I'm going to be replacing these uh, little things and be putting bolts in here so I guess this is how it's going to work and this right here is going to be under the plastic so that it doesn't move so all right I'm going to do that right now all right guys so on how to remove your clutch so you can have more access uh, all you got to do is you take like a little bar this is from my jack so i'm going to stick it in here make it go all the way I'm going to try to find a perfect spot like this make it go through like this So that I can actually get this thing off. So what I'm going to take also is this crossbar. So we're going to try to find a good end that will fit here. So this is not the good end. This is actually the good end. So what I'm going to try to do right now is I'm going to try to put you guys on the stand so I could get the clutch to pop off. So wait two seconds till I get something that I can actually uh, put this camera on. All right, guys. So here we are gonna be taking off the clutch. So wish me luck. Actually removing the bolt first is the first thing you got to do. So, you got to be removing the boat. Screwing. So here's my clutch bolt. This big long bolt. So now I'm going to go get the puller to remove the clutch. All right. So here we are. So just to tell you that these clutch removing bolts or uh whatever you call them or clutch specific so you have to get one for your application for your clutch so here we go we're gonna thread this in I'm gonna be using this crossbar so hopefully it'll be removed easily so how about I put it this way in this can be tricky sometimes. It can be tricky sometimes. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we are. Threading. Here we are threading. And you guys should hear a pop. And if it doesn't pop off, I'm gonna go get a hammer inside. And uh, we're gonna tap on it. But this came off not so long ago, so it should pop off relatively easy 
Okay, so here we are. I can feel it. So let's see if it'll just pop off. Okay. No, nope, I'll have to tap on it. It popped off. So you see how much a bang it made when it popped off? Almost feels like you're breaking something. <laughs> that's, that's just how it is. So let's remove this sucker right here. It's still like kind of hooked on. Okay. This can be tricky. It can be tricky. All right, guys, it was my bad. You do have to remove the clutch puller tool if you want to remove uh, the clutch. So it's going to be easier. So you see, all I have to do right now is give it a yank and it'll pop off. <laughs> my bad. So here it is coming. All right, so it was my bad. I forgot that you had to remove the, the clutch puller tool to remove the clutch. So anyways, as you can see, it's coming out. All I got to do right now is remove the strap. Okay, here we go. And here is the clutch. So you do have to remove your clutch puller tool to remove the clutch from the sled. All right, guys, so to get back onto how I installed the uh, electric starter kit on an RMK700, which is a 2009. So what I did is I installed this part last. So let's start where it starts first when I started where when I started installing the electric starter kit. So I installed the Bendix first. So you guys, as you saw in, a, in the previous, uh, in the beginning of my video, this comes as a three piece part. You get the electric starter motor, you get the flex, the flex shaft, and you get the Bendix. So three parts. What I did is I installed the Bendix first. So it secures on to your uh, motor right here. You can't see the bolt, but it's right behind this right here. It's the exact same bolt, bolt that attaches my, uh, well, my header pipe. So it's the same thing. So what I did is I used a very small uh, wrench and I, I cut a piece of uh, Allen key that had the, the, the size that I needed for this and I added it to my wrench and I went slowly but surely and I secured it down. I don't know what the torque specs are and also there is a second bolt to hold the Bendix to your engine and that will require you removing the water pump, uh, water pump bolt that uh, will need to come off. And then come back in to install this and you crank it and I did use a bit of a blue Loctite to secure the bolts because I didn't know what the torque specs were so anyways that when that was installed then I added my electric starter motor and it requires to put pop rivets but I use metal screws instead and they seem to, to, to fit pretty good because they're really tight and then I installed the, the flex the flex uh, shaft and they are size specific like this part is a little bit bigger than the other one so it's just like clung and clock and you put, push them to the farthest so this is a little time consuming this was where i uh, used the most time but it went in pretty well so anyways yeah and also for uh, my cable you put the positive one right here on the side and it's attached with tie wraps i did a uh, yep, yeah, I secured it to the pole right here and went all around and back around the airbox and it comes right back out from here. So this is around six feet, this, uh, this wire, and it goes to the solenoid and the battery hooks up to the solenoid. And I have this uh, negative that goes right here where uh, there's a, like a, a ground. And also what I did is there is also one right here that'll be uh, the, 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 the solenoid, nothing too hard and it connects to the wiring harness that goes that, that's already provided on your sled. 
So a little time consuming to put all of this. So I did this without instructions. But anyways, it was pretty uh, easy. And I also put a tie wrap here that what holds uh, my uh, solenoid to the battery. So anyways, yeah. So how about we go get the ring gear and the clutch and we install it to the sled to see if it works. Let's go do that right now, guys. All right, guys. So here is my clutch with the ring gear. And this is my OEM clutch that was on the sled. So now what I'll be doing is I'll be installing these ramps right here and the spring into this clutch that has the ring gear. Because uh, this is actually an SLP clutch kit. So I will be putting this into this primary clutch right now. So let's go do that right now. Nothing too hard. Alright guys, so what I'm doing right now is I'm actually removing my uh, ramps. Well, not the ramps, but the, the, the thing that will uh, hold my ramps because I'm taking everything off this uh, clutch right here. All right. So just removing this and then I'll take my, uh, my bolt right here. And this is my ramp from SLP. I'm putting it in here and I'm just sticking it in the hole. Not a lot of lighting, but it is what it is. This is the time that I have right now. So just trying to maneuver this in. Okay, here we go. And putting the bolt right back. So I'm going to have my complete SLP clutch kit in here. So now I'm just going to be bolting it down. And when I'm going to be done, I'm going to be putting my spring in here like this. And you see there's an X right here. That means that it's balanced. So what I have to do is look for the X, which is right here. So I have to align this X and that X like this. And I'll be putting my bolts, uh, lift this up and I'm gonna be bolting it right down. And we're gonna go install this in the sled. So let's go for it guys. And now we're almost done. We're gonna see if it works or not. All right guys, so here I am and I'm about to install the clutch back. So let's do that right now. All right guys, so kill switch is on, key is on. Let's see if this thing will start. It's a complete success! Alright, so my girlfriend is going to demonstrate if the electric starter works. So, go for it! Oh yeah! My girlfriend can officially start my sled now! Yay! Alright, so I hope you guys liked this little video on how to put an electric starter uh, kit in a Polaris RMK IQ snowmobile. So if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, share this video with your friends. So thank you very much and see you the next time. Bye bye guys.